Good afternoon, everybody. This is NCP. And uh, I just got the living bejesus shocked out of me when I plugged in my coax and my antenna after a storm. <clears throat> Here's the problem right here. It's cheap, uh, whatever, brand um, surge suppressor. I really got it because I wanted the six sockets on here in USB. That's what I wanted. But here's what happened. Now, as you guys know, there's, there's no ground on this thing because I redid it all. I figured something happened when I put the ground on the antenna yesterday. Now, it doesn't show any grounded up here right now. But if I go in here and put my, my uh, ground. Oh, heck. Let me try this one hand. All right, hold on. <laughs> There we go. Okay, see how it's in there? We've got 97 volts on that. From neutral to ground. Now, hot to ground, we've got, you know, phantom voltage. 7.5 is phantom. And, you know, hot to neutral, we got the full voltage. I'm sorry. Wires are bad, but it's 120 volts, full power. Now, <clears throat> if you look at the, the uh, tester here, I'll put it in. Watch this, the ground comes on. It says it's grounded. See that? It's now grounded up there. That was my elbow. <laughs> and then right here it's showing a reverse hot and uh, neutral. I thought, wow, I can't believe I screwed that up. I'm almost obsessive compulsive order when wiring my own stuff. So let's take a look here. Gosh dang. <clears throat> so, let's pull this off. <clears throat> now here's my outlet. There's no ground on here because this is all controlled to the GFCI on the uplink, uh, the first one on the circuit. So if we go here, look at that. See that? That's, that's an open ground, it should say on there. But trust me, it's open ground. Because that's what we got. So somehow, this thing here is passing current to the neutral. Our front, it's reversing internally. <clears throat> now, so I grabbed the, uh, the coax there after the storm to connect it, and the shield side of it just shocked the living Jesus out of me. So, it was running to the neutral down here on the power supply. I was using this neutral, hot neutral, and energized the line through this. Now, my, my, uh, my radio is AC, or uh, uh, 12 volts, so I'm using the power, uh, power supply, but if I had turned this thing on, it would have jumped 120 volts right into the antenna on this radio and smoked it. Probably smoked it. And probably smoked my, my uh, tuner as well. But there we go. So this is going to go, I don't know, this is like $12. You get what you pay for. Just, I don't think it's UL well listed. If it is, it's fake. Oh, it's the other one. Um, it's China. I can't think what uh, ETC is. Or ETL. Evil? I don't know. But be careful, people. Trust but test. Uh, that's attributed to Reagan, but I don't know who really said it. <clears throat> you know. But, um, yeah, I got... I got a, a large current shock through me, or a large shock, but no, no real current, I don't think, but it bit me, so I didn't think I did that big of a ground, but I, I ran a big ground spike outside under the tree and uh, ran the wire to it from the shield down to the ground through a lightning arrestor, and that was feeding back there, and it, it went out and dumped the ground outside. Now, the ground outside isn't tied into the house electrical system, which it really should be, but that's another story. Um, that would probably give me a bigger shock, but, you know, test, test everything. This, this is somehow reversing it inside. I'm not going to open it up because I'm not going to, I'm going to return it, but I'm not going to try to fix it. It's like a $12 thing, but like I said, it revert, it showed reverse. Check here again. Just for my double checking, see? It's just open neutral ground. And, uh... This here is setting it up. It's ungrounded until I plug this in. Or anything, see? And it's showing a hot reverse. 
Like I plug in anything with the three prong, like the radio here. The ground comes on. Oh, it didn't come on that time. What do you know? Maybe I have to power it up. Well, I ain't gonna. <laughs> Definitely not gonna power it up. Okay, so it's whatever's using the power, but still. Don't you believe it. I thought something was weird when I took a look at um, I was running continuity. Here, let me pause this for a second. Check this out. Alright, so here it is on my laptop. I'm set for continuity, so it'll just beep. You know, if you can hear that. Okay, now. When I put in the hot, I'll put it down here. The hot and the neutral, it shows protected. It powers it. See that? What kind of crap is that? <sighs> Sorry about the video quality, people. I'm trying to make it dark so you can see it. But it didn't show continuity over there. And like I said, the neutral and the ground have current on it. But they're not connected right now, so only when it's powered. In fact, they don't even pass uh, past the back, I don't think. Oh, well, it does. It passes the back there. But not the ground here. So, it passes, but... Oh, for the hot. <sighs> Sorry about this horrible camera work today. I usually have a tripod for this stuff. Okay. Okay, so we're in the hot now. Hot goes to hot. Doesn't go to neutral here. Doesn't go to ground here. But it does when I plug it in the wall. So there we go. You know, there's a Maxima. I don't see the model number. But I got stuff off Amazon. I'm going to return it to Amazon. So. Trust but test, people. This could have went really bad. You know. <clears throat> I may have not been able to pass current before I ground the antenna. I haven't really tested it yet with the ground. But all I've done is made sure the antenna isn't shorted out up there. And uh, they're not. But it was passing current. So. Yeah. Alright. Everybody have a good one. NCP out. This is your public safety message today. Have a good one.